From 1867 to 1970, the Sanborn Map Company published large-scale maps of many U.S. cities, including Houston. These were used by fire insurance companies and underwriters. Now, these maps are invaluable to architectural historians because they show how the footprints of all the buildings on a given piece of property changed as the years went by. One such case is the historic Kirby Mansion, located downtown on Smith Street next to the Pierce Elevated Freeway. The original design of the house was very different from how it looks today. The John Henry Kirby House was built originally by Mr. Price on a full city block and it was a very nice looking house but uh, fairly straightforward in the style of the time and uh, when Mr. Kirby bought it in the late 1890s he decided that he was going to make uh, extensive um, alterations and so not only did he alter the uh, architecture of the house but he also wrote to a very prestigious uh, garden designer in Boston Joseph Henry Curtis to ask him to design the gardens. Mr. Curtis came up with a plan that was very much the Italian style that uh, had different areas of the gardens devoted to different activities. And one of the things that's interesting about it is it was one of the earliest examples of the so-called country place movement that uh, when people quit having their houses downtown because they were surrounded by all this activity and they wanted privacy and a domestic area. They built their house in the country. Sadie Gwynne Blackburn used the Sanborn maps, the city directories, the newspaper collection, the rare books collection, and the photographic collections to gather research for her book. You couldn't find this information anywhere else because uh, that this happened here. And one of the wonderful things about the newspapers in those days uh, was that they, that they published a lot of the details. You, they had the names of the people who went to various uh, wonderful parties. They described the flower arrangements. They uh, talked about what happened uh, during the time. In 1928, uh, when they knew that the uh, Democratic National Convention was coming to Houston, Mr. Kirby wanted to be sure that he had a, uh, a home that he could invite the attendees to come and entertain them. So he redesigned the house entirely, and uh, it can now be seen right by the freeway. The owners decided to build the Kirby House out in the country because they wanted to get away from the congestion of downtown Houston. That was more than 100 years ago. Today, every day, nearly 300,000 vehicles pass by the house, traveling on Interstate 45. Even though the house is now used as an attorney's office, it retains many of its original design features. Using the photograph collection, garden historians can trace not only the evolution of horticulture and gardening, but also the evolution of floral arrangement. Miss Vesta Ewing is shown in her graduation dress, holding her diploma and surrounded by gifts of flower arrangements. Her parents' home was lavishly decorated with flowers for her wedding in 1910. In 1906, Miss Bessie May Kirby was married at Christ Church. The church was decorated with several thousand chrysanthemums and a floral swastika, which, in the days before Hitler, was known as a symbol of good luck. An elaborate flower arrangement was the centerpiece for a bridal lunch in her honor at the Rice Hotel. The wedding reception was at the Kirby Mansion, where the swimming pool area and the ballroom were lavishly decorated with flowers. In 